So, TubeBuddy or VidIQ, which one is better? And if you have no idea, what are they actually? Coming up. Hey there, my name is Nick Nixon and welcome to my channel. And on this channel, we discuss a lot of things about online business, growing social media and growing your content for absolutely free, which is which is the most important part. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And by the way, if you're very new to, the, to an online business, you can find a very interesting document that can allow you to start your online business and plan it ahead in a very simple few steps this is it's a very small document it's just one page document that will help you to understand what to do when and after what so uh go in a description uh, down below and grab your free document it's absolutely free you can just grab it and and, and run away I, I don't know i don't care so tubebuddy versus vid iq which one is better if you have no idea what tubebuddy or vid iq are uh these are tools that are actually uh, more like a chrome extensions that are allowing you to utilize your YouTube even more. And it gives you additional options in controlling your YouTube channel. They're a bit different from each other, but they're still serving the same purpose to give you tools allowing you to grow on YouTube faster easier and steadier so uh in this video we are going through a few uh, categories and checking uh tubebuddy versus weed iq how they come up uh, i'm assuming that if you are here you probably know uh what tubebuddy or vidq is just a bit or i haven't uh, ha or you have an idea you don't know what tubebuddy or vidq is you can go in the description down below i have uh, uh, links for both of them they're both free to start absolutely free to start they're uh, they're not paid they have of course the paid options but they're absolutely free to start you can go and download tubebuddy and vidq for it. So just to play around and mess around uh with uh, them to understand for yourself which one is actually better because uh the opinions that i'm giving here is based on my uh research and what i did uh with my channels uh in on a youtube in the past so it may be uh very well different from your opinion so you can just go to download uh free uh options of youtube tubebuddy and vidiq and if you want you can just uh even buy uh the pricier options i don't care it's it's your choice uh, but I'm gonna compare them what I think uh, the full disclosure here I, I'm using both of them I'm using both vidIQ and TubeBuddy but I'm using all on the all of that uh, but I'm using only uh, the TubeBuddy paid option uh, I, I'm not using a uh, vidIQ uh, paid option I'm using it only for free option but I'm gonna just go uh, through it and compare everything how it all goes so uh, just to cover just to compare uh, this is the TubeBuddy website where you just go and see the TubeBuddy website right here and this is the vidIQ website you can just go like that and it's a vidIQ.com for vidIQ and TubeBuddy.com for uh, the uh, TubeBuddy so uh, let's start comparing them uh, with each other so let's start with the TubeBuddy mm, now let's start with the uh, uh, features of uh, both of uh, these uh, tools uh, and I'm gonna uh, tell you uh, the winner overall in the categories and then I'm gonna tell you why uh, the one is uh, the winner and I'm, then I'm gonna go back and compare the points well it's it's not a point it's like just a few categories so I'm gonna come uh, tell you the overall winner which one is better in my opinion so let's start with uh, the features we're comparing vidIQ features with uh, the uh, TubeBuddy and here I'm gonna give a uh, winning to uh, the TubeBuddy because number of features are simply overwhelming here uh, and trumps over vidIQ and just just destroys it why I'm gonna show you uh, here uh, my TubeBuddy option uh, actually I have a TubeBuddy uh, like two TubeBuddy options right here i'm gonna give you like this one this is uh, a free option that i'm using on this channel i'm not uh, uh, using any paid options as you can see it's it's practically uh, the same here and then i'm gonna show you in my other incognito tab like uh, this one is i have a star license don't, don't mention this this um is the georgian script that uh, basically means nixon like my last name here 
um, in Georgian script. Uh, this is a star license, actually, as you can see. And I have a little bit more options right here uh, than there. But it's it's nothing uh, a significant difference. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, go uh, through each and every one of them. Uh, as for vidIQ, so while vidIQ offers a very high uh, analytics features and SEO tools, TubeBuddy provides you with this and even more with tools like comment controls, shortcuts, thumbnail generator, which is a huge thing uh, that, uh, that saves you a lot of time and many, many, many more here. Uh, uh, vidIQ simply lacks uh, these options and it gives you more like uh, help with the keywords and it gives you the more research tools that TubeBuddy give, uh, vidIQ gives you more research tools but TubeBuddy increases your usability on a completely different level and I'm gonna just show you right here let's go on my free account this absolute free account as you can see I can go with a keyword explorer just press the keyword and just explore any keyword that I want I'm, I'm I can go to a um, best time to publish which is not uh, usable anymore it was when the time of publishing mattered on YouTube now it doesn't matter a uh, tag list you can just uh, create some tag lists that you want video topic planner which is very good you should just uh, type a topic that you want to do in the future uh, you can go just on the top like through my videos like a playlist live streaming comments subscribers analytics uh, directly right away and here as well you have much more like launchpad uh, like giving you options on how to what to do basically when you do you when you make your videos like a list of the things that you need to do so these are all these are all the options that you have uh for a uh, tube body and feature wise it is just incredible incredibly uh more deep than a vidIQ and if you wish by the way to make a very very deep uh, view to TubeBuddy options and vidIQ options. I can make another video, but right now I'm just comparing these two each other just to give you what, which one uh, to use. So uh, here uh, the point goes for the TubeBuddy. The next option that we're gonna compare uh, TubeBuddy and vidIQ is of course uh, usability and how easy it is to use. And here the clear winner is again TubeBuddy because TubeBuddy as you can see uh, in a um, well here on a video as you can see just by pressing on the button right here just gives you the majority of the options that you can use just right away and VidIQ lacks these options at all uh, VidIQ just gives you uh, its options right where do you need it like when you go to the video creation it gives you its tag list and etc etc tag explorers and etc etc uh, while the tube TubeBuddy just gives you these options anywhere you want which increases the usability as well in addition to that TubeBuddy has extensive tutorials including video tutorials for every feature available which is very good so VidIQ simply lacks that yes you can find a lot of tutorials but they are simply but they simply fall uh, fail to present uh, you all the features of v vidIQ uh, that you can actually that you, all the features that you can actually uh, do and it's a shame because vidIQ can do far more than it actually shows so because of that another point to the tube body next is of course integration how well it integrates within a um, YouTube uh, user interface and what you what is weird is that I'm, I'm giving this to the, this point to uh, the vidIQ despite TubeBuddy being so extensive uh, in its feature list there is no uh, there is one thing that vidIQ does simply better and it integrates itself into YouTube uh, showing live analytics all the time for your channel showing more detailed video analytics for any video on YouTube showing more detailed information about commenters and many more there are the things that with you simply does better it shows the information you need and you didn't know that you actually need it even with a free license it is very useful and far more informative than TubeBuddy is so here at this point goes to the vidIQ it's, it's right here I'm, I'm, I'm pointing in, in the wrong direction it's, it's right here it's right here so uh, vidIQ so next one is of course uh, the pricing uh, as I said both of them had their free options but uh, they have priced options as well and as you can see here 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There is there is a different options right here. Uh, so uh, the point here uh, goes to I'm gonna give this point to the tube body again because of how 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 more options it has. So both tools have three options, which is very important in my opinion. This Op uh, these options are very different to compare so you can use them both at the same time and have a great package this is exactly what i do i'm using them both and this is how what i'm advising you to do as well just go and download both of them you need them you you will need them even if you're not a youtuber you will find a lot of great information while using them however if you're talking about the paid options tubebuddy is a clear winner for the several reasons VDQ, besides the free and enterprise options, has only two options. Uh, one with the very minimal features and one with all the features. Which one costs $7.50 per month and another, another one costs $39 per month. Which is a huge contrast and unacceptable in my opinion. TubeBuddy on the other hand, let's see this one, is very flexible with its, with its options. Here we have options which cost $9 a month, $19 a month, and $49 a month. Each and every one of them is useful and gives a proportionally more options. More or less, or basically $49 option is a bit overpriced maybe, in some cases the legend option here. Uh, and not only that, the price goes down even more if you pay yearly, or even more down if you're a beginner channel. I'm gonna compare. I'm, I'm gonna give you uh, how how it goes. You have less than thousand subscribers, boom, four fifty. You will pay yearly, three sixty. You have more than one channel. Well, you have to like just uh, write them, write them, and they will just uh, see what they can do again with an MCN partners and part of the non nonprofit. As you can see right now, if you pay yearly option, you can start a pro option with a three dollars and sixty cents per month which is incredible. As you can see, the flexibility in pricing gives an edge to the TubeBuddy and VidIQ will not beat if it continues to provide only lackluster and complete packages. Like one lackluster and one complete. This is, this, this, this does not, this, you cannot just compare this one. And if you want just to compare uh, these options, I will just, I will just take this off. So let's see the full prices first. As you can see, three options, have well this this is this is not bad but look at the pros look at the star and look at the legend and you can see all of the options here plus in addition to a, an additional things like audio hero that gives you a premium royalty free music the tube body mobile which is pretty good actually that i'm using uh by the way collapse space tuber tools juke deck epidemic sound discount oh, three play media discount mm, youtube starter kit sample pack for free and 50% of the assets and YouTube stock, etc, etc, etc. It gives you a lot of options, like a lot of options. And pricing care is simply, mwah, I love that. I love that. They care about their customers. And that's why this is far better. And VidIQ, please, come on, just, just update your game. Look, look at that. Look at that. Uh, this thing, like, it seems like it has a lot of options, but SEO and title description, the, the recommendation, not for $39, not for $7. What's that? What are this? Like, look, look at the look at the amount of options here. Look at that. Look at that. That's it. Oh, it has a Q engine. Like you, you can see the keyword engine is limited as well, and trend alerts is limited as well for the number of channels that you have. Look at that. This is all the options for VidIQ. And look at that. Look at that. Come on, come on, VidIQ. This is just. This is just sad. An overall winner, of course, is uh, TubeBuddy here. It's not a surprise that TubeBuddy is a winner here. TubeBuddy is far more complete package and tool that can be used by every YouTube creator. And just by using every option, you increase your relevancy by a lot. Don't get me wrong. VidIQ, VidIQ is a great tool, especially if you're using the free option in junction with the TubeBuddy. Free or paid, it doesn't matter. It's small uh, decisions that made VidIQ fall behind by a mile buried under the success of the TubeBuddy. If you want to have a great tool for free, VidIQ is the way to go. But uh, the TubeBuddy is still far better than VidIQ. And here, of course, overall winner, overall winner in all of this, in both between the TubeBuddy and VidIQ, of course, 
is too buddy. It's simply that much better. Thank you for watching uh, this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any remarks and any questions, just leave uh, them in the comments uh, down below. If you want for me to make a, a bit more complete description and complete review of the two body, maybe because I I know the two body far better, uh, but I, I I know the VDQ quite a lot as well. Just drop in the comments uh, down below, and I will even purchase uh, a legend uh, or the best options just just the best options just to make you understand how good they are or how bad they are just to review them completely just drop in the comments down below thank you for watching i hope it was helpful and i hope to see you in the next video see ya